What is it? It's Fusilli Grind. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to the show how are you i'm fine thanks for asking uh it's nice to be back uh we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight uh my good friend tagus who has been on the show before shout out tage thank you for this idea i stole it from you uh wholeheartedly he asked me the other day we were at the skate park and he said who do you got for sodi uh 2024 um and i was like uh i don't know we when we kicked around some names but I was really thinking about it today, and I've put together a little bit of a list, uh, no particular order, of some guys that I think are absolutely, absolutely, definitely up for Sodi. So let's jump into it without any further ado. Of course, Thrasher, Sodi, Skater of the Year, if you're the uninitiated, which I'm sure that you're not if you're watching this video. So let's dive in. And these are in no particular order. First up, Hermann Stenne. Uh, what can I say about Stena that I haven't already said? Um, I reviewed his part that came out earlier this year, the Pocket Mag part. He's had stuff in several yantas. Um, definitely a footage machine, this guy. I could see him coming back around at the end of the year for maybe an Adidas joint or something and, uh, showing everybody what for. Um, he's really quite talented, good trick selection, uh, goes heavy, goes hard. One of the things I was talking about at the skate park with Tage uh, was the fact that you know they've kind of chosen some some fresh guys past couple of years, Tyshawn, uh, Miles Silvis, guys like that, and uh, Stan is a little bit more on the Hesh and the Hesh persuasion. So I think the needle might shift back a little bit towards Hesh guys. So so things could look good for Stena. It, what's against him is that he's not that big of a name he's not a household name he's not american uh so that's tough that's 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 gonna be tough it's gonna be tough as a norwegian i think to break through but you know uh arto sorry was sodi but he's Finnish, right is that right you guys will let me know in the comments anyway stena i like stena for sodi 2024 but do i think he's gonna get it no probably not okay up next gabriel summers aka gabbers this is an interesting one for sure um went off in his zero part that came out earlier this year and has been going off kind of steadily for the past five years. Another footage machine. I thought his his zero part was so good with the Dido song, one of my favorite songs as well. Um, check out this, this heel lock 50-50 of Doom. Now, if you watch the part, which you obviously have, um, you know that it's kind of the landing of this 50-50 was a little sketch, a little crazy, but... I think everybody's given it to him. Um, Gabbers is an interesting guy. He's definitely been around the block. He's been in Thrasher. You know, he's got My Wars, lots of coverage, this guy. So he's he's venerated. He's got heritage. Um, and I think that definitely goes into the Thrasher Sodi decision making. You know, they usually don't take a, a kind of a brand new guy or an unknown quantity. Gabbers has been around. So that's working in his favor. His footage is working in his favor. I'd say. Some of the best uh, combination of kind of tech, technique, uh, gnarliness. Uh, so, yeah, Gabbers is looking good, actually, I think. Gabbers could really be, you know, in the final conversation for this year's Sodi pick. So I like, I like Gabbers for Sodi 2024. All right, next. Jamie Foy. So when I was talking with Tage at the skate park, this was a name that, when it got brought up, became very obvious that, yeah, something's afoot. With Jamie Foy this year, they just had a Thrasher mag out there where everybody's, you know, talking big ups Jamie. He had a colossal part in the Baker Has a Death Wish video at the top of the year. Um, really just solid, smashing footage from Jamie. So I could see there being something in the works. He had that Thrasher out there as well. I mean, Jamie Foy, it's about time for him to make another big push. It seems like he's been working on stuff. Obviously, the Dickies video is coming up. There's going to be Foy footage in that. 
Um, so yeah, watch out for Jamie Foy. I'd say Jamie Foy is a clear front runner. Obviously, he's been Skater of the Year before. We're looking at his Thrasher cover, Thrasher Skater of the Year, two thousand seventeen. 18? I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, definitely look out for Foy. Foy's going to be in the conversation big time this year. I can, I can just feel it. I can just feel it. All right. Let's talk about Antonio. Um, Antonio Durao, very, very well done in the Nike video. Obviously, he was well featured in Johnny's vid that came out last year. I believe that there is going to be a hard body video coming out. One of the things about Antonio is that he's had kind of a little bit of a wishy-washy career in terms of board sponsor. He's always been on Nike, which, you know, is all that matters in today's day and age, but still optically, I think we tie something to the board brand. Um, and, you know, he was on the, he was on Eric Costin and Guy Mariano's short-lived numbers brand for a little bit. Uh, he was on Skate Mental for a little bit. Now he's kind of settling on hard body, and I think that the Antonio Durao, uh, Yalta Hallberg hard body machine has legs. I think it could make something of that brand and give that brand a little bit more of a national appeal. Uh, Antonio, obviously a wild card in his skating, very entertaining to watch, very talented guy uh, thinking outside the box. Here he is hitting the tranquility rail uh, for his thrasher cover. I love that they use this for the first trick. And Johnny's vid, it just bangs you over the head uh, with just the craziest trick that you could imagine. In the Jordans, um, this is a top 10 Thrasher cover for me, bar none, no question about it. Sick, no other text, just photo and the Thrasher letters. Uh, do I think Antonio's going to get Sodi? No, unfortunately not, but uh, he's the man. He's Sodi in our hearts, I think, for a lot of us, so... Shout out to him. Loved his part in the Nike vid. I think he should have had last part, probably, but, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Antonio, love you. Would love to see you hoist uh, the Sodi trophy aloft, but uh, I think both of us know that's probably not in the cards, but we love you just the same. Up next, Don von der Linden. Um, another standout from the Nike vid. Uh, another guy who's been around a long time. He's on Anti-Hero, he's on all the deluxe brands, he's on Nike. Optically, uh, he had a bit of a blip in his career a couple years ago. Uh, I think he's been mostly absolved of that. I think it was kind of overblown at the time anyway. I won't go too much into it because I don't remember the exact details. Um, but his part in the Nike video was outstanding. He's uh, always putting out footage with Anti-Hero. He's kind of a quiet killer. I think that his back 180 fakie 50 front heel out at the Milano Centrale train station was one of the best tricks of the year. Definitely one of the most memorable tricks, if not the most memorable trick of the year. Um, and just for that, I think he belongs on the list. Do I think he's going to win Saudi? No. I don't think he's enough of a personality to get the award, but uh, I think he made a really good showing in that Nike vid. He, as well as Antonio, stood out to me. Uh, but sadly, I don't think either of those guys are really going to have the legs. They'll be in the conversation for sure. Thrasher's, you know, at the end of the year, Thrasher throws all those guys on the list. They throw everybody on the list, all sorts of people. Um, and then it narrows down to like three or four and then it's like, yeah, okay, this is the guy. So, um, d you'll see him on the uh, end of your list from Thrasher for sure. No doubt. Okay, here's a touchy one. Elijah Burl. Um, Elijah Burl. Elijah Burl. Elijah Burl has been touted uh, over the past couple of years of, you know, just wait. He's going to have the footage. And, and, you know, a couple of years ago there were murmurings. Last year we thought we were going to get it. Uh, no. This year he's had one part out, uh, some footage and some vans, tour video type stuff. Um, but I think we're going to see his, his best efforts for sure coming up soon uh, and obviously going into the end of the year, the holiday season. So look out for Burl. Uh, he's another one of Thrasher's darlings, just like Jamie Foy. So he and Foy are definitely going to be front runners uh, when we get to the end of the year. Uh, unless it's all hoax. Unless it's all just much ado about nothing and people have been talking up Burl and he doesn't actually have this mountain of footage. But it sounds like... From everything that I've been hearing, uh, it sounds like he's going to have a big push. And obviously this, this, this is the most recent Thrasher cover that's come out. It's him. 
uh, doing a crazy trick on a crazy wall in California. There's an airplane in the background. Great photo. Um, very cool. Very uh, old school sort of 80s vibe. Uh, I dig it. So excited to see what's coming from Burl. It very well may be sort of a pinnacle of his career, uh, fuck the haters sort of moment, which, you know, everybody loves that kind of story. So it would be cool to see Burl shut everybody up because people have been talking shit. Uh, You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, so up next, we've got Giancarlo Gonzalez. So this is an interesting dude, Uh, Colombian national, uh, total hell ride, Hesh crew, uh, Chris Rhino Rooney photograph. This guy has been at Chris Rhino Rooney's hip uh, ever since he got his work visa sorted out. Um, Very, very talented young man on the skateboard. I can't say that I'm a big fan of watching his footage. I did go and watch his his solo part that he put out this year. I know he's also had stuff in a monster video or something. Um, He's really good. He's got really clean uh, and oftentimes perfect execution on his tricks, which is interesting because you think, you know, Giancarlo Gonzalez, uh, you think of David Gonzalez, he's Colombian as well, but uh, whereas David Gonzalez sort of was a carcass-tossing maniac, uh, Giancarlo Gonzalez seems much more calculated, uh, definitely has spent some time in the skate park honing his skills. Um, Very good skater, very impressive. Do I think that he's built himself enough cushion in the media landscape to jump into, you know, real Sodi contender? I don't know. He's had a lot of coverage in the magazine. Uh, he did some cool tricks in some spots in San Francisco that I saw. So, you know, I mean, you know, when, you, when you're when you on the Sodi trail, you got to go to San Francisco. Otherwise, you're not even going to get sneezed at. So, um, interesting one. John Carlos Gonzalez, is, he's a wild card, I think. He could, you know... Maybe. We'll see. I don't think... He's not at the top of the heap, but he's he's kind of up there because he's really putting in work. Gotta respect it. Tanner Brzezinski, this is just kind of like an honorable mention for all of the ledge lords and uh, techie boys out there. Tanner Brzezinski has been on a tear. Uh, definitely deserves mention. Will be mentioned at the end of the year by Thrasher, I'm sure. Uh, lots of good coverage. Lots of good footage. Obviously his pro part. You know, he's been putting stuff out in the weekend parts, weekend JIT video. Uh, I know that's last year, but he had his pro part this year. And, of course, he's had some really good footage as well in the Nike video that just came out. So, um, yeah, Tanner Brzezinski, great skater. Uh, don't think he's going to get Sodi, but he has personality. Um, he has coverage. He's been in Thrasher a lot, a lot of ads, a lot of two-page spreads just like this. This is a two-page spread that was in Thrasher. Um, front heels, swag. Uh, beautiful tech tricks, uh, using his noodle, a uh, bit of a genius, so uh, definitely worth a mention. Tanner has been on a tear. Is he at the top of the heap? Definitely not, but we love you still. Okay, we made it through my main guys. Those are my main guys, but I also have a few guys that are kind of on the bubble, you know, in the conversation, but I don't think they're anywhere near. Um, first up, Elliot Sloan. Uh, this is Elliot Sloan, if you guys don't know, uh, if you've never seen him before. Elliot Sloan uh, just put out his sort of mega ramp, mega park part that I think he filmed basically entirely in his own backyard, which is badass. Um, and it was really good. You know, I think we, we were getting treated to uh, guys like Tom Shar, Clay Kreiner, uh, Elliot Sloan. It brings back the uh, the sort of peak Bob Burnquist vibes, and I love that there's guys that are still sort of pushing the envelope on that. Um, he's definitely pushing the envelope. If you have not seen his part, I urge you to go watch it. Very, very impressive uh, video part. I guess he put it out for Monster. I don't know. It seems like Monster uh, foots the bill for that guy's entire lifestyle. But uh, he deserves it. Uh, he did some amazing shit. His ollies on that big quarter pipe are so insane. I'll put some of the clips in. Um, Maron. It's like 10 out of 10 Marons on, on, on that backside ollie that he did. Holy shit. Um, that was cool. So go watch that. Dylan Jabe, it's, he's not ready yet. Fakie Flip, Wallenberg, sick. Incredible. Um, he's, he's too young. He's too young. He doesn't have a track, proven track record, you know, like some of these other guys do. He hasn't been around long enough. Um, and the same goes for Toby Ryan. 
both of these young guys are extremely, extremely talented, and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They're eating their veggies and getting big and strong, and you know, are you doing, you know, massive big boy shit? Uh, and and you know, we notice, we see you, gentlemen. Um, but Saudi, no, they they'll be on the list. They need to, they have to be on the list. That was another thing Tage and I were saying. Both of those guys have to go on the list for what they did at Wallenberg. Legendary, iconic San Francisco shit. Um, shout out to them. They're just getting better and better. We're, like I said, we're going to be seeing these kids till the end of time. Anyway, uh, next up, here's my three sort of more wild card prediction type guys. This is like really fringy kind of, you know, maybe, uh, we'll see. Uh, first up, Cater Silla. So Cater's, cause, you know, he's sort of recovering from injuries. There's been little trickle of information that, you know, he's back in the streets putting in work. He had that thrash recover. Um, I didn't put the thrash recover on here for some reason. So for some reason, I decided to choose three uh, photos of these guys in what I consider to be really just not the best outfits. Although Ashad's kind of killing it, I have to say. Um, but this cater outfit is atrocious, and so too is this Guy Mariano Disney bite uh, Dickies capsule that he put out earlier this year. But Guy Mariano, if you want to talk about heritage, if you want to talk about proven track record, he's got a part coming in the Dickies video. They've been teasing the shit out of it. If you haven't seen a promo for that, where have you been? We've definitely got a Mariano part coming. Um, old heads rejoice. He's a triple certified double platinum OG legend in the game. So, you know, watch out for him. Obviously, there was a big push for Guy when uh, Fully Flared came out in 07. Is that right? And, uh, you know, he had his comeback part with the band of horses. You know, very, very poignant moment. Uh, He didn't get Sodi, but I think some people thought that he deserved it at that time. So this could be his opportunity to kind of poke his foot back in the door and say, hey, you know. How about a little something for the effort? You know, my contribution to the game. I gave my life to this shit sort of thing. But uh, I don't know. This Dickies capsule does not bode well. I'm sure the footage is going to be great. Can't wait to see it. Uh, I would love to have Steve Fletch. By the way, Steve, this is your invitation. Come on the pod. Let's watch Guy's new part when the Dickie vids comes out. Um, Yeah. And then I got a shot on there just because it shot you know, could could get it any year, right? I know that's, like, cliche to say or whatever, but um, he really could, and he's been bubbling. I've seen a shot in a few edits so far this year, you know, a couple little things in the Nike vid, a couple little things. Um, Ishad could really just, like, take everybody to the cleaners if he wanted to, if he was really making a big push, and it seems like he's not really slowing down, you know? Some of these guys, they're kind of slowing down. Ishad, not slowing down, so uh, watch out for Ishad always. You never know. Anyway, that's kind of my list of guys. You know, no girls, no gender non-conforming. Nobody's really stood out in those uh, arenas yet to me that I can talk about highly. Obviously, Georgia Martin's doing very well. Poe Pinson's doing very well. But again, these are younger skaters. They're not really Saudi material uh, at this point. But, you know, at the end of the day, skateboarding's all about personal preference, and things like Saudi are kind of silly in light of that anyway. So... Please, please, sound off in the comments. Who did I forget? I'm sure I left people off. Uh, Let me know. And for what it's worth, my personal pick for Sodi 2024, Tom Snape.